So today we will discuss killing probability and uh, so in the context of uh, uh, stochastic processes and some application in cellular and molecular biology. So we'll first introduce what is a killing measure and give the motivation. We'll derive the um, survival uh, probability, which is solution of a Fokker-Planck equation with a zero-order term. We'll discuss the Feynman-Katz formula. And we want to discuss application to viral dynamic in the cytoplasm. Specifically, we would like to address the question of what's the probability for a particle to arrive alive to a small nuclear pore and how to calculate the conditional mean first passage time. So at this stage, I would like to say that um, although the problem is really um, a probability question, the methods are based on asymptotic of the associated partial differential equation for the mean first passage time. So let's now start with the uh, motivation. Here is an example of uh, um, live cells imaging where you see here a cell and the different trajectory one here two three four and four represent the the these trajectories are obtained by uh, observing the single particle single virus which is called the adeno associated virus so adeno associated virus aav and it has been observed in the past 10 years that, that, that first of all, we can see those trajectories. And now comes the question to what defines these trajectories. Obviously, part of, of this trajectory can be well approximated as confined Brownian motion as in here. So this is confined Brownian motion, where other part of the trajectory looks like a drift, drift part, and uh, there are different type of trajectories, and so one of the question is of course how to analyze this trajectory to define this underlying structure, and to be able to calculate uh, global quantities, that, like, such as what is the mean time it takes for such a particle to arrive to the nucleus. Another example here is given by the, um, the uh, HIV virus. So those are HIV virus trajectories where um, you can see that um, there are part of trajectories here that are again making um, many recursion while other, while other parts are more linear. So, and, and still, the, the same question remains if one of the uh, goal here of the particle is to enter into the nucleus, which is located here, then if we know the type of trajectory, can we understand what are the mechanism or what is the time it takes for this particle to enter into the structure? So, usually the nucleus, so usually the nucleus, the, 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 the nuclear pore, which has which are small hole so the nuclear pore they occupy only two percent of the surface of the nuclear surface so it's it's um like a small hole problem except that here in addition the particle may disappear because the cell ha has mechanism to kill it so it becomes now a problem of survival probability, how to calculate the survival probability in such environment. Another example is the following where there is no necessary drift. So suppose you want to inject um, a genetic material which is uh, can be uh, considered as a polymer. So after condensation it, it is like a ball and this ball through some mechanism that we're not going to describe here can enter into the cell 
it can travel inside to until it reaches a certain uh, step where the DNA can escape and again there is um, a killing there is a probability that the material is degraded thus not all the material will, will arrive alive here to the nucleus and the question is of course how to calculate um, how to calculate the probability so the question we'll be interested today is how to compute the probability the probability and the mean time the mean time for such for such uh, DNA to reach the nucleus let's say to reach a nuclear pore to reach a nuclear pore not degraded which means alive another um, point of the discussion is how to model the trajectories so in the case of viral trajectory this is the sum the trajectory can either move by diffusion by Brownian motion or by a drift so this can be modeled as a switching as a switching um, process where it is diffusion as long as the, ta uh, the particle is free and it is bound let's say on a microtubule as in here it moves with um, a velocity v of t which is a deterministic uh, speed and this can occur let's say with a rate there is a transition rate between the two let's say for example lambda lambda is the rate of transition this process can be uh, homogenized and this we will not discuss that here that is this switching law can be replaced or approximated by an, homogen an homogenized stochastic differential equation with a drift here that depends on the geometry of the, and the organization here of the microtubule and a second part which is um, a stochastic term so for references those are the, the references Lagash, Holtzman in Science Journal of Applied Minds 2008 and uh, the Physical Review E of Lagash in 2008 so now let's discuss the uh, killing process so now we discuss killing rate so at a population level at a population level if there is a killing rate lambda which means that a fraction n of t of the population disappear at each in each element of time delta t and there is such amount that disappears it is known that n of t plus delta t minus n of t equals minus lambda n of t delta t thus at the population level the population decays like n0 exponential lambda t so now we would like to introduce a similar concept for um, stochastic uh, trajectories so if we think about stochastic trajectories then suppose we are in a domain omega particles start at position x it can be described using a Brownian um, stochastic equation x dot equal b of x plus 2 square root that can depend on x um, omega dot which is a Brownian uh, this is the white noise the particle start at 0 it's at 0 it is at x and we assume that at each moment of time the particle can be degraded with a rate k that depends on the position x and the degradation rate during the time interval delta t is k of x delta t so for example the particle is not necessarily arriving alive to the boundary it can be it can be killed before and the question is how what's the equation that this 
survival probability satisfied. So what is the survival probability? The survival probability is the probability that the particle x of t which is at position y plus dy so the particle is alive at this position it is not degraded Condi condition that it started at position x so this can be written as the survival probability p s of y and x during time t multiplied by the volume element dy and so this survival probability we would like to see what is the uh, equation that it satisfies so for this we look at this uh, probability that x of t is at y plus dy so it at y plus dy and it is alive and so this is equal to what? this is the probability that the particle was located at position x of t x of t was located at position y at time t was alive and alive multiply by the probability 1 minus the probability that the particles so if it is located let's say instead of here we put z here so 1 minus kz multiply by delta t so this is the transition probability this is the particle so that so for this to happen the particle should not be killed and in addition it has to make a transition from z to y and so to derive here in a coarse grain manner the uh, partial differential equation we'll subtract here minus the probability that the particle was located at y at time t so this is probability that x of t is at y x at time t is at y so this was a t plus delta t and the particle here is alive so if we subtract this here we have to subtract the same term here so this is minus the probability that the particle was at x of t at position so it is at y plus dy and it is and it is um, so this is the probability is at y plus dy and it is alive so now we are going to continue in the next class by dividing everything by delta t so we will divide this by delta t and send delta t to zero and the same here we'll divide everything by delta t 1 divided by delta t and send delta t to 0.
and see what is going to be the um, the limit so we'll, we'll resume in the next class